Okay, let's get started with uh, Knitter. First thing to do is just start a file, and we're going to just come here and start. Go with R Sweeve, and this is just going to come up automatic. We're going to have a document class, article. That can be changed. Anything inside the brackets can be changed, but for now we'll just leave it that way. We're going to begin a document. There's just some stuff with Sweeve there, and we're any time you have a begin, you're going to have an end. So I'm just going to put a couple of things in here. Generally speaking, when you're putting uh, LaTeX uh, commands, which is what we're doing right now, I'm going to put backslash title and curly brackets. Introduction to knit R. Then I'm going to put author. That's me. And then you have to say make title. see on at least on mine whenever I have any commands there, uh, LaTeX commands, it's going to be in blue. That might be different for your editor. And then I'm just going to put in some text here. This is Dave's Canadian vid video. Talking and typing at the same time, not my Apparently I'm not very good at. Okay, so now that I have just some text in there, I'm going to also throw in some R code. And to do that, just go over here to Chunks and insert Chunks. And we'll just enter our R code in between here. We'll, we'll, we'll put some things inside these uh, less than, greater sign, greater than signs later. But for now, we're just going to put Summary. And this will give us a start. Now I'm just going to click Compile PDF. It's going to ask me to save it. And I'm going to just save this as video one. And we'll throw an RNW prefix on that. And here it is. That was a little bit more than I wanted. But you can see it. Put a nice little title on there, author, put the date, my text, summary iris, which, iris, which was my command, followed by the output of that command in R. So you can put text, get your commands, and get your output all in one document. 